Hey everyone, Unexpected Clear Night here. So I just thought I'd throw a little video together with some of my imaging. Um, since I only have one video with my Duo Band filter, I thought I'd show you my project that I'm working on with Duo Band filter, which is the Horsehead Nebula. I got some data the other night. I got about two hours of data. It's about three hours, about two and a half hours of data actually, and it stacked uh, the best. I think it was 85% which came out to be about 2 hours and 16 minutes. But I wanted to get some more data on that, especially since some of my data on that one, about 30 minutes of that, was unfortunately a tiny bit out of focus. So I uh, desperately need some more data on this project, which I will try to get tonight. Now we are starting to get later nights now, as time sprung forward uh, just this Saturday night, actually. And now, instead of being able to shoot by 7.30, I'm having to shoot by 8.30. And in May, that will progress to about 9, and then by June, it'll be as late as 9.30 when I'll start imaging, so. Longer nights, I mean, I kind of like the longer daytimes. They really do hurt astrophotography quite a bit. We have the Astro Modified Canon 60D. We have the SV Boney SV48 Doublet Acromat. And then we have the iOptron Smart EQ Pro. Um... And then that's what we're imaging tonight. Obviously, the duo band filter is in here. We got a beautiful sunset tonight. If you look up here, you can see Orion's belt right there. And that's where the horse head nebula is right there. And there's the moon. Very bright full moon tonight. So, uh... Like I said, hopefully this narrow band filter does a trick and filters all that moonlight out so we can get as much detail in the nebulae as absolutely possible. Laris is already out about right there, so I'm gonna go ahead, turn the mount on, and polar align. So anybody that's new to this probably wonders what polar aligning is and why we do it. So basically what polar aligning is, is since our mounts have to track the Earth's rotation, since, you know, the Earth rotates and it makes it appear as if the sky is moving, so our mount's gotta be able to track that in order to image over long periods of time without it leaving the field of view, and also so our stars don't blur out. And we gotta polar align so the mount knows where to point and knows how to track. Um, and that's what polar aligning is. We, we put through a polar scope, which is inside the mount, towards the star Polaris, which is the North Star, so it knows exactly where it is and where it's pointing so it can track accurately and keep tracking throughout the span of the entire night. See, right here is where our polar scope is, and we look through this eyepiece right here to actually aim at the star Polaris, which is somewhere up there, uh, which you can't really see good on the camera. And, uh, you see, the mount is going to track the Earth now as soon as I slew to my object, which, since we are polar line, it knows where the object is. You also got to use the computer system inside of it, which you can use by controlling the hand controller, to type in the time and date and location so it gets very accurately... Um, it knows exactly where it is in order to track and have accurate go-to, which is the process it takes for the mount to actually manually go to an object, which in this case will be up there in Orion for me. 